Here we are in the backyard at home with another dumbbell workout. Shoulders today. Are you ready? Because this shit's going to go crazy. It's like nothing you've ever seen before. Okay, it's like most other uh, dumbbell videos on YouTube, but hey, it's with us, right? I mean, come on, that counts for something. At least there's a little uniqueness involved. Not very nice out today. Pretty gray, pretty cloudy, pretty depressing. But we're going to change all that right now. So grab those dumbbells and get ready because we're going to do this. Yeah. It's a clean press. Well, at least a variational one. We're doing it with dumbbells, of course. And this is more of an Olympic style lift, but we're not necessarily doing it like the Olympics, obviously, because we don't even have a barbell in this. There's going to be a lot of leg drive in this one. Going to create a little bit of momentum with the hop, a little uh, extension in the hips, get the dumbbells with an upright row into position of a press. And then once you get into that position, your knees will be slightly bent and then you're gonna get a little bit of a push press to the top position. This one, not going too heavy on it, we're just getting our 50 pound dumbbells in, in order and well, you know, we're doing 15 reps, so really kinda gets the energy burning, get those calories burning, gets you out of breath, but really feeling those shoulders after that 15th rep. <sighs> Two more. <sighs> That doesn't, if that doesn't hit your shoulders, I don't know what will. Damn, that's intense. Ugh. Shoulder press to a windmill. So this is a unilateral exercise course, concentrating on one side before moving to the next. It's just gonna be a standard press in the beginning, like an overhead press. You want a nice wide stance. Keep your knees pretty locked out. Press straight up, once you hit that, you're gonna be pushing that hip outward and this shoulder, the one that's holding the dumbbell to the top position, one, it's raising the center of gravity. So already your core's having to stabilize a lot, but once you push that hip out and you guide that hand down that leg, the shoulder's gonna have to articulate to keep that vertical position. Get it as far down as you can, you're really gonna feel it in the obliques, then bring it to the top position, then lower the dumbbell. So a lot going on in this exercise. A lot of stability, balance, mobility and uh, a lot of contraction in there as well, so uh, it wins you, as you can tell. Yeah, make sure you got a weight that feels right for you too on this one, because like Ryan was saying, changing the center of gravity overhead, you wanna make sure you have that balance in check, so when you go leaning over on the other side, the weight doesn't just come crashing down. Remember when I said this was gonna be like any dumbbell workout? I lied. <laughs> There's some crazy shit we're doing today. And dear God, my shoulders almost can't handle it. We may have to finish this one off with an epic cheat meal, which we may or may not feature on our Buff Dudes food channel. So check that one out if you haven't already. All right, getting some isolations now. It's gonna be front raise, rotating to the lateral position. You're gonna bring it down to the bottom position and keep it there on the lateral. Do a lateral raise, bring it back to the forward, and then eccentric contraction down. So it's really two rotations. First rotation, second rotation, that's gonna be one rep. We're gonna rep out 10 rotations of that. So of course it's gonna be working on most of the full deltoids, not only the anterior lateral, but the posterior as well, because the rotation external outward here to the lateral side of the position, bring it back. So all three deltoids right there. Oh yeah, and I can feel it. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Ah. Oh. Damn. I would scream really loud right now, but the neighbors are doing construction on their roof and I don't want to scare them. Get out of here, you pest. Reverse flies right into shoulder extensions, throwing a little bit of a shoulder superset on you. It's gonna be 12 reps for each one, for a total of 24. Hope you're able to survive, and hey, this would be a perfect time to have a horse trough full of water like we do right here. That way when you're all done, you can just jump right in. A nice, cold, icy reward for that overheated body, yeah. Shoulder 
extension is one of the main motions, the posterior deltoid. So isolating it with a reverse bent over fly or bent over lateral raise, depending on what you want to call it. Super set right with the shoulder extensions. Man, you really feel that burn in there. That's when you know it's working. Cleary, yeah, I know, man, you gotta stay on top of it. Hey, look what we're doing right now. We're actually, little dual action going on because we're recording for our Buff Dudes workout channel, hey, and we're also recording for our Periscope. Oh, yeah. Buff Dudes on Periscope, if you wanna check us out, we'll be doing some live streaming, which we're doing now for all you great dudes and girls. Oh, dude. Sleek? That's awesome, Sleek. No, congratulations, because that's all you, dude. Oh, hey. Hey, Chris from Scotland. And Andre from Germany. No, nice to meet, nice to meet both of you. Charlie, you as well. Yeah, Those hearts are coming pretty strong. I, I know. Think, I, I think it might uh, take, okay. Brandon's going to have to double. Let me I double got, tap. I'm going to double. How do you flip this thing? No, I'll get, I get double. Oh, okay. You do it. All right, so look. Getting a little double action here. Uh, oh, yeah. All right, workout's done. It's cold. It's dreary, but... Hey, we gotta do this anyways, right? It's for Periscope and Buff Dudes workouts. Here we go. Make sure I don't got my wallet in there or anything. All right, this is gonna be cold as hell. Ah. Screw it, just gotta do it. That felt quite refreshing, actually. I felt pretty good. Yeah. All right, we'll still stay with you, Periscope, but Buff Dudes Workouts, until next time, stay buff. Yeah.